But yeah, she can control leaves with her mind. So in a forest, she'd be a badass. Oh yeah, she'd be great in a forest, but in a world that where most villainy takes place in industrial areas hey, with very hey, few hey, leaves, hey, she would have to kind of have a little pouch of leaves, like, yeah. You could carry around a pouch of leaves. Yeah, but like in a, in a practical situation... In a, pra- know, in, a, in, a, in a fucking practical situation, you want to put leaves in a pouch, you could fucking fit loads. You could fit loads of leaves into one pouch. Like, yeah, but in a practical you situation, about, you could fit more vines from your head... If you think like, if you think about it, there are more leaves on this street than you probably think there are. Oh yeah, because there's definitely. many trees. Definitely. And, and this is a pretty but in, like, this, this a big is, city. Yeah, but we're not exactly in inner city where a majority of crimes would go down. Like, I mean, because take bear in mind this is taking place in Japan, so I don't know how I'm viewing this. I'm viewing this from a scope of things like yeah, Tokyo. but it's like streets that line the sidewalk and like, in Japan, True. bushes and stuff. And bushes would be her best friend. Do you need some <laughs> she help? likes the bush. But, Riku. like, does she have a limit of how many leaves she can control? Is there a range? Okay, yes. she can, she can control blade. all the leaves within a five-mile radius. This keyblade holds the power fucking to unlock king people's hearts. Hell. Yeah. Allow like, me to that demonstrate. Seems, like, I don't know, to me that seems better. Oh. Like, well, it's, it's only fucking leaves. Well, no, now. but, like... She'd Open have to know where they are and Surrender to a degree the, the things darkness. around her, so that would that would Become be more like some kind of extrasensory perception kind of shit. Like. Nah, it's just like, I want leaves, and this all of the it. leaves. This in that five mile radius magnetized. So what, she just kills all the trees to drag them all towards her, like... The nah, because they instantly go back. <laughs> so she... She's so green she's piece. She's literally mother nature, like any, leaf, any leaf she pulls off a tree instantly grows back. He clones them. <laughs> that mechanism was like a long crib. This, uh, like, if she can regenerate anything she touches, why the fuck she do that with leaves? She may as well be doing it with people's limbs. Only works with leaves. <laughs> Greenpeace would love the bit. Of course Greenpeace would love her. She's like fucking God, nearly. With nature, she's, she's fucking mother nature. Only thing is she's really weak to fire. A lot of people are weak to fire. Fire pants Humans are, are weak to people. fire. And that's not exactly a weakness. Like, humans are naturally weak to fire. We can't take a lot of that shit. Yeah, but she's like really, really weak to fire. So get a fireproof clothing. That's, again, that's not no. like... No, like really, really, really weak. Well, like, she's just weak to general heat. General heat. So Not again, like the sun heat. But like, near an open flame, she would freak out. Even like a match. Because even the smallest fire can start a forest fire. Only you can forest fires. <laughs> Pretty cool. But like, ag again, to a point, that just seems a li Like, in certain situations- Like, Endeavor end end would make her his bitch. Yeah, and that would make her his bitch. Lots of- Lots of characters would make her his bitch. Probably Kaminari would make her his bitch, because all I'd have to do is shut out the leaves to the point where they set a light. And she's dead. See? So she's not like super OP. In certain situations, she's very broken. It's just you've done it. you've put like very little thought into Like this. if she's in a fucking forest? Oh my god. Yeah, like I get that this was kind of made up on the fly. But you've created a horrible power balance here. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I much prefer the rubber hose idea. Rubber hose is great. I, I know, love rubber hose. Rubber hose is brilliant. <laughs> okay, okay, to explain rubber hose to those who are listening, it essentially gives you the power of an old timey Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, so like. So, like, your faith can collapse inward. There's an actual girl who can collapse. Oh, yeah. That's that fucking one freaky. I hate her. I know. Um, Horikoshi stole my. Horikoshi stole my OC. <laughs> but, like, um, she has very bendy limbs. Um, she has an infinite satchel, or satchel. Yeah, satchel. Magic satchel. Yeah. Like, um, they, like, they can run really quickly by kind of spinning their feet cartoon style. Yeah, they can, like, go, like, not subsonic, but, but like, like, fa very not, fast. Not, like, not as fast as Ida, but faster nah, than most like, humans could go. We'll, we'll say, like, 25 to 30 mile an hour. Yeah. Well, we'll say, like, 50 if they're going real fast. If they're really yeah, trying. Like, like about ostrich speed. Yeah. And don't don't diss ostriches. Like, the ostriches can run fucking fast. Yeah, ostriches can like ostriches uh, can go. 
<laughs> they might not be able to fly, but they can fucking go. Oh yeah, like I don't, I don't know if you've seen that one Kevin Hart show, but like I just remember. Like, Alright, so we were driving at 60 miles an hour and the ostrich is just there. <laughs> Imagine us fucking staring at us. We were shit scared. <laughs> I <laughs> bet. I know, just like fucking ostriches are like emus. Emus are, emus are friggin' so, so yeah, rubber hose can take an inordinate amount of damage. Mm. And it's like dish out a fucking shit ton because they can just pull bazookas out of nowhere. Yeah, and it's like they don't really, they're not really affected by gravity until they look down, but when they do. Yeah. When they do. When they do, they're fucked. Yeah. So it's like, as long as he like doesn't look down, really faster. as long as he doesn't look down, he's fine, but he can also stretch his head. It's like, his yeah, body like will fall, like then like his head will fall. Like stretch and compress. Yeah. Like squash and stretch. Yeah, squash. The principle of squash and stretch made into a superpower. Yeah. Like, that's, it's dumb, but it's great. Mm. So it's essentially like, I don't know how the fucking infinite satchel would work. It probably works something like, uh... Like she has to store something in the magic satchel before that actually can be pulled out. Yeah, like, the, the magic the magic satchel is just an infinite space, like... Yeah, I mean, I would... If there's nothing in it, then there's no... Like, she would have to put the bazooka in there. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it would need, like, a size limit limitation, like, like she can only pull out something so big. She can only pull out something... Oh, something so heavy. Yeah, so heavy. That would, that would because be mass big. would make it a lot better. Yeah. If you go mass, like, it gives, it gives you sort of, like... So, like, a... A metal anvil wouldn't be the size. So, so we'll say something like anvil sort of mass, like large anvil. Yeah. It's like she couldn't just stick a like a building in there. No, like, but she could stick lots of like say, a big mallet and, and lots of guns. Yeah, even though she wouldn't use like she wouldn't use no, guns, no gun gun mallets. Yeah, just big like wood, wooden big rubber ass fucking mallets. Yeah, that's bad. They're gonna lose. Oh, like a uh, hundred percent. Dragon, we're in a episode, so we're good. Dragon Maleficent deals with lots of damage. Yeah. Um, like a, but yeah, Roller Hose is cool. I like yeah. Roller Hose. That would be my power, personally. Honestly, I kind of prefer the power of, like, absorption, redistribution, and manipulation of forms of energy. Yeah, that's broken. I mean, you said Leaf Brace is broken? That's well, broken. not, because, like, that's the thing, like, their body would only be able to naturally store so much. I believe we've both come up with this idea. It's yeah, like, I think I came up with it at uni though, so I'm not going to it. Again, but, like, it's, it's a parallel thinking thing where it's like yeah. you just sort of thought of it around the same time. Yeah, so like like in order for it to have any kind like any kind of decent application, they'd need like some sort of battery or high energy storage system. Yeah. But like they could absorb heat and turn it into like kinetic energy for speedy shit. I think with, with my one it was like it was only kinetic energy. They, so that like, they could absorb a punch. Because like, if they got punched, they could absorb the kinetic energy from the punch. Yeah. From the other impact of the punch. Oh, no, no, not even kinetic energy. They could absorb the mutants from the force. Yeah. And redistribute those mutants or redirect those mutants into something else. So like, um, for example, in, in a situation where they're in like an explosion, yeah. They can absorb the force of the explosion, but the fire damage still remains. Yeah. Sort of thing. So like, against, against Bakugo, he wouldn't be necessarily invincible, but but going to be fucking... Yeah, I mean, so like, for the most part, mo Bakugo, Bakugo doesn't seem to do a lot of fire damage from his explosions. Like, it's implied that, yeah, it would. It would, but... In, because, of, because of manga durability logic, mm -hmm. They don't take much burn damage aside from Slay Sinji. Unless it's Todoroki, in which case they are incinerated. Oh yeah, but Todor Todoroki's thing is... I'm hard. talking about Enji Todoroki, by the way. Ah, yeah. Because Shoto Todoroki. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, I was thinking about this on the way down here, but... You know Tomura... Shit. You know yeah. Tomura's quirk? Uh-huh. I had to wonder if that's actually his original quirk, you know? He might have been a quirkless, to be fair. Well, no, not necessarily quirkless, but, you know, in the fight between Off One, off one and All Might? Yeah. Or before All for One and One for All, essentially. Yeah. 
like before that when he's fighting best genus mount girl and mount lady mount lady mount fucking girl who the, the fuck do you think you are Meh. i don't really care that much right i will but, punch you but he says something like because he comments on how best genus works really good but but nah. it wouldn't suit tomura because mm. I, I think what he was talking about was in that point i think what he was talking about is when he passes on his own power like yeah, he's gonna like, die at some point. Yeah, but like I just I had to wonder if he's maybe possibly done that before. Perhaps he could have done. Like it's it's, it's a sound theory. Because I mean I I don't know what Nanashimura or whatever her actual name is. I don't yeah. know what her actual quirk was because you know it's awful. It, yeah, like one for all. one for all is a very weird. It's it's an enhancement quirk, but yeah. it's like not at the same time. Yeah, it's also magic. It's almost like bide from Pokemon. Pretty much. So it's like she could have had a quirk that it amplified. Yeah. But maybe also not. Yeah. Like again, all for one might one or one for all even might have just been a series of quirkless jackasses. Because mm, because all we really know is it can have strength and exactly. strength. The strength has a lot of different meanings. But just because I had to wonder because the 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 decay the decay the, the decay quirk seems really brutal and kind of like yeah. yeah. It, it makes sense in the sense that he's like the main or he's going to be the main villain of the series. Eventually. You know. And we have no idea what Nana's quirk was. Because especially since she was his grandmother and mother, so it's a It might have been aging. She might have had an aging quirk where she can manipulate the time or something. Or yeah. Age or something. Or maybe she like because that might explain why she looks so young. Uh-huh, because she always looked really young and she was hot. Yeah. Nana she was, was hot. But it just, it's, it seems like a bit of a brutal quirk to have, and I know that Chance, uh -huh. like, because Chance is a factor in it, and it does produce yeah. a lot of When fucking but, explosions is a brutal quirk to have. Yeah, but that was because his, his dad already had a weaker explosion quirk, his mum, his mother naturally produces glycerin and swag, so. Didn't his dad have something to do with soap? And, his, nah, his, his dad produces a kind of... No, that's that's the glycerin effect. That's his mother. No. Hello, Hello Doggo. Hello, Doggo. But now nah, the whole the whole the whole glycerin thing was Sorry. his mother. Sorry. And there you go. There's a good point. I, I mean, his dad might produce soap, but I know if he did rub his hands together, it created explosions. <laughs> it was stated in the manga. I can't, I can't remember. It, that was the basis for the exploding part of Black Ghost World. Yeah. The nitro. Yeah. Nitro glycerin. Nitro glycerin. So but, yeah, yeah like, I know his mom had something to do with excretion from sweat. She she, ex she excretes glycerin. That's <coughs> why she looks so young. Yeah. Again, Harkon she thought this shit out, but it's just I, I have to wonder if that was his original quirk. But I don't know. I mean, a lot of this is just conjecture because again, no evidence. But, uh, I'm gonna be it's, a, it's a discussion to have. Um, yeah. but yeah, like, eh. It's an interesting theory. It's just a neat thought that I had. It's an interesting theory. But like, like I say, at that point, I think it would be one where it's like, um, he's like, well, I'm gonna fucking die soon, so all for one is gonna go to Shigaraki. Actually, it's that case. Can can he actually tra transfer his own quirk? More than likely. Because... Very, very much more than likely. Like, because, I, because he can take other people's quirks and, like, he can read yeah, this all quirks. Really quirks so that I would. It would only make sense that he could do that to himself as well. Yeah. So I mean, it, it would make it would make a lot of sense to do an application except to a specific mm -hmm. situation, like with Tomura. Yeah. But it's just I doubt he'd have ever practiced it because if he gave someone else's quirk, they would have yeah. just ran off and. Just, oh yeah, if he gave someone else's. Well, I mean, quirk, I mean his quirk. I mean, potentially, because he did still have a shit ton of other quirks stuck out in his own body. Exactly, like, he but, could just take the quirks. But if he'd given it to someone else, what's the, what's the thing to say that he could have... Because I assume it'd be the same sort of process. I don't think he's ever given it to anyone else. Because mm. he's shown as well that he can... That quirk can cancel out and force activation of other quirks. Yeah. Which is... Or he can forcefully activate other yeah. quirks. So, I'm not sure if he can forcefully cancel them, but... You know. He could definitely fuck because he did it with uh, with Warp Gate. Warp Gate, whose name I keep forgetting. I know. I I don't even think it's Warp Gate. That's just 
Mm. Yeah, I think that's the name of this quirk. That's his quirk, yeah. I don't even know if he's been named. He has been named. Yeah. Which is, what is his name? He's the, he's a I don't remember his name. Yeah, he's, a, he's an enigma. But yeah, like, I don't think he's giving it to anyone else. Yeah, because again, that would be stupid. That would be fucking dumb. But again, I assume it would just be the same process of giving other people perks. And then there's the whole... Then there's the whole... I'm gonna be here for ages. We're gonna be here for a yeah. while, and we're at 48 minutes. Mm. So, yeah. And but oh, I, I don't know because yeah, there's a, there's a lot of potential for theorizing about quirks, like who's deck, who's dad, really. Just some quirkless fucking. Well, no, he's not quirkless. No, he we, breathes we fire, know, doesn't he? Yeah, or at least that's who people think. That's who the manga posits. But because anime theorists are a thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's it's, it's actually all for one. No, yeah. Even though at this point he's a crusty bastard. He's really old. Like he same... could have had some like age reduction shit. <laughs> what no. like plastic like pla Botox injection quirk? Well, yeah, fucking um, thingy from One Piece has that. True. He has a Ivankov from One Piece has like a hormone quirk. True. Where he can literally change the gender of people and change what he looks like and what other people look like. True. True. Exactly. But, yeah, like, there's no... But if you kind of start theorizing about that, then there's no reason to say that he's not Bakugo's actual dad, or <laughs> Mike's actual dad, or Tom... Like, Shigaraki's that actual dad. Dumb. Like, if, if you say that, then you can say he's literally anybody's anything. dad. Pretty like, much. At that point, there's just no point in theorizing. So, All to of be honest... No, it's more for the dark defense. I'm seeing if there's anything better for dark red warrior. But... Mm, 57 health. Too bad. I might end up using Tinkerbell. Because regen is helpful. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and, like, but yeah. Um, yeah. That, that's that's Hero Aka theories. Oh, yeah. I brought two twelves, but never ah. Yeah, I know. But we've, been, <laughs> we've actually had conversations yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't have we don't have to hold off on the anime talk anymore. Yeah, we can actually talk about fucking anime. Yeah. I'm still gonna talk about fucking YouTube shit. Oh, hundred percent. Definitely no joke. Because I feed off drama. <laughs> and I wanna be able to put bigger YouTubers' names in my tags to just to start shit. So that our subscribers come over and subscribe to us, just to tell us to kill ourselves and give us views. Yeah, I really do hate that whole kill yourself thing. It's just so excessive. Hey, Chris. Shut up. Just because you don't like kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> like that. That what? That was. That was so beyond predictable. Yeah. So. Like, it's just. I get that you hate someone, but times kill yourself because it actually does. Like some people have actually killed themselves. Like, like, so. Hey, if you kill yourself because someone... Okay, because I've said this a lot, and I stand by this. If you're going to commit suicide because of what someone said on the internet, it's not suicide at that point, it's natural selection. <laughs> like, as, as potentially true as that is, like, it might not necessarily... Like, you got to take into the fact that it might not necessarily just be from that. It might not be, but... <sighs> Like, these fucking internet SJWs fucking snowflakes. Oh, yeah. Like, they are all like, themselves. So many people kill themselves for being misgendered. If you're gonna kill yourself for being misgendered, natural selection at that point. Mm, I'm... Just being honest. Yeah, it's just... At that point, it just... It's like, oh. I, I get that there's hate towards it. Like, if you want to be fucking trans, don't be fucking trans, don't be fuck. Yeah, like, if that's how you really feel you are, then why do you care what other people think? But you're gonna kill yourself because someone misgendered you on the fucking internet. Mm. Because someone on Twitter calls you a he instead of a she. It is natural selection at that point. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, it's not even someone like, oh no, you should be a guy, it's wrong. It's someone accidentally calling you a he. Yeah, that's... when you say you're a she. That's just that, because you have because like if you're expect if you're expecting people to be accepting of your thing, you have to be accepting of the fact that other people might not accept yeah. it so easily or might not give a fuck. Why is that keep happening? 
and that it's you just can't change your genders. Mm. So you, ju- like, you just can't. Like you can cut your dick off or glue a dick on all you want, mm. and that's a very like simplification. Of, yeah, it's a gro- it's a crap. gross oversimplification. But it's it's gross oversimplification. I get that, but you know. But yeah, you can cut your dick off all you want. Your chromosomes will never change. Hmm. Um, so your DNA will never change, meaning you will always biologically be a dude. Or yeah, I mean, like, je- like, I don't know, like, because chemically you might feel yourself to be a person. Chem- sometimes chem- you do get chemical. Yeah, like, there is sometimes a chemical imbalance of the brain, which makes you think that you're not the person you are. Mm. And if you need to get surgery to fix that problem, then... Get, get that surgery that you need. But if, that, if I call that a mental disorder, then mm, it's that's not. Because like there is something in your brain telling you that you are something you are not that you require medical assistance for. Yeah. Therefore, that is a mental disorder. Because the thing is, that to a lot of people, that does sound like self harm or schizophrenia. And again, they come from the same kind of base. It's not necessarily the exact same chemically. But the idea that there is something that isn't right about your body. I hate that bite attack. But yeah, like... Yeah. Like, there's something not right about your body, how your brain is working for whatever reason. And it's causing you to take physical action against yourself. That's called the memory shot. Mm. Like, schizophrenia or anything like that. So, just just because it might not... Come just out, because baby. you feel more like you, you know, just because you feel a certain way, doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Yeah, and it's like because that—that's the thing. Like self-harming gets shown in a really negative light, and schizophrenia gets shown. Are in... you saying more people should self-harm? Because self-harming. No. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not at all. But like they're seen horror, like they're seen as actually bad things because you know they are. Mm. But because because you know it it honestly go because it sounded like you was like oh yeah no, people I, should show self harm in a more positive way just put, no put I'm, like I'm, nice I'm, upbeat music on some split the wrist that's not what I'm saying at all it's like it, it's seen as a bad thing like because it some is uh huh but you know people will naturally come to associate them as similar because they have a lot of similar tenets yeah and you're expecting people to not see that as bad is not necessary. I mean this, this conversation took a very weird turn. Yeah it did. But like we were talking about fucking anime and shit. Yeah. And then it, yeah. It, and then we it, were not. It took quite the one eight. Yeah. But um but I even bought I even bought that physically takes half of my Fuck. But yeah, it's like if there, if there is something where you would take medical uh, assistance for it, then that is a disorder. Or you know, like I'm not saying like well, by that means plastic surgery is yeah, okay. pla- well, plastic, plastic surgery is kind of dumb. Plastic right. surgery is fucking stupid. Yeah, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are cases when it's fine, but, but there are cases when it is absolutely necessary. Yeah, like you know, someone's a burn patient, you know, or they like are physically getting, yeah. you know, ridiculed and shit for being burned. But, well, they just need to be fixed. They need to fix that burn. Yeah, they need to fix that burn. So they need plastic surgery to like maybe alleviate some of the pain of that burn or something. Like some people have like nasal issues. And yeah. Shit. So like they, they need to get like a nose job to open up. Like. You know, plastic surgery still has a use beyond cosmetic. Yeah. Like, but th- those people that do it for cosmetics are fucking stupid. Mm, sorry. That's great. Yeah, great. Yeah, because like, because a lot of the time, when you're doing it for something cosmetic, you end up looking worse than you started out. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> like, it's just, it's just dumb. Uh huh. But, or it could go very bad. And then you're fucked for life. Yeah. It tends to go bad more often than not. Yeah, huh? It's just. There's no, there's no point spending a shit ton of money for something that's more than likely gonna fail. Uh huh. It's just 
just, why would you do it? But yeah, um, be, be whatever you, you may have this, be whatever you want to be, but don't fucking tell me it's fine. Like, don't piss at my cereal and call it milk. Listen to it. <laughs> it's like, that, that, that one just guessed me. <laughs> like, you, you know, like, it's fucking irritating being like, I'm not bad. It's like, no, you're not. But like, I'm not bad. No, you fucking not. You, you, you're just not. I'm the third gender. No, you're not. There are like there are only two genders. You fucking moron. I've, I've seen some of these. Oh, like, not like non-binary gender chats, and it's like it just it doesn't make sense. Like no, no. It's like and like some people just don't feel like they have a gender, which is yeah, fair enough. Fair, fair enough, if you want to present as androgynous, but you are one of the other. Yeah. Like you just are. It's like, when you get into shit like, oh, I'm neo theme. Like, yeah, I'm I'm a demi boy fucking. <laughs> fuck you at that point. Yes. Yeah, like, and and to, to be fair, like, yeah, this is this is me being kind of mean because I'm not thinking about a fucking argument against it. I'm just being fucking mean for the sake of being kind of mean. But if you're like, if you call yourself demi boy, demi girl. Omnisexual, like I don't fucking care. If if that describes your gender, then you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, it's just it, if you're it's like a little like, excessive at that point. It's like I'm like, non-binary, demi boy, pansexual. Like, fuck you. Yeah, like fuck, fuck, fuck you to hell. Fuck you and everyone like, that looks like you. Like, yeah, like what, what the hell is a demi boy? I have no mean? fucking idea. <clears throat> they all like. To be fair, Chris, there is a ton of like fucking genders, and I say that with very heavy quotation marks. Genders that like, just have the same definition. Yeah, a lot of the time it just, with different words. It, it equates the same thing, and they put they put so many more negative demi neo demi neo fucking. It's yeah. like, but it's like it's, it's, it's legit. Like it's like they they are the same thing, just described with different words. Yeah, like, isn't that just you know? This like fucking other kid. Other kid are fucking stupid. Oh, other kid. Other kid. Like. Because it's like. Like. Ah, stop, please. Like. I'll, I'll, I will put it that way. Other kid are fucking dumb. Hmm. And they deserve death. I wouldn't say that, but. Oh, no, they're, they're a fun. Like, other kid go real fucking far. Like, um, this is one. I remember seeing a story of one fucking other kid that killed their name was fucking dog. For no reason. What? They just killed Okay, their no, name. that. That okay, makes an death. Animal abuse? No. Exactly. Like no. That that is no. That is I, never. I, I am actually a wolf and I killed my neighbor's dog because I was hunting and it got in the way. It's like, motherfucker, going to the fucking grocery store, growling at the meat is not hunting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, they were literally like they were physically growling at the meat. There, there was a video of this. And like, oh that is, that is they went to the grocery store, went to the meat section, and started growling at the fucking steaks and shit. It was fucking retarded. I'm sorry, that is indefensible. That's dumb. Exactly. Like these people. Like, no, that. Oh boy. That is just what. Like yeah, there are the harmless ones that are fine. Yeah, like the ones that think they're video game characters. The ones. Oh no. Oh, they're real bad. Oh no. They deserve death. Oh boy. Oh man, Final I Fantasy! Mean, oh shit! I mean, I just remember Final Fantasy Seven. How? Fuck! I, I was just going to bring oh, that up. No, I, they I deserve want, to die. I At want, least I want two of them. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's just like if you want to get really into it, anything's possible in multiple universe theory. Yeah. But at the same at the same time, at the same time we're not in that fucking universe. We're not, Jack yeah, we're not in that universe. Please try and be realistic. Yeah. Like, like fuck you and everyone, <laughs> and everyone that thinks like you. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, there was there was a universe where I was where well, I could probably be Genova. So yeah, no like, there was a universe where I was sort from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, but at the same time, there is a universe where you were a toilet that gets. <laughs> 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 like this, don't that's, say that. That's the universe I want to fuck live. The universe where I'm a toilet. <laughs> that's the fucking one. Yeah, like that's, that. That's the that's, one that I want to live in. That's the thing. Like if if you want to if you want to believe that in some universe you were some character from a video game, 
fucking what happens? You, you can, but when you start fucking chaining people to walls and forcing people to have sex, that's where I'm like, okay, you yeah, kill yourself. Like, and again, by the same token, you have to remember if that's the case, there's also a universe where you are something with dumb as shit. Like, yeah. I don't know, a blade of grass, or as I said earlier, a toilet. It's just. See, in, in the universe where I'm a toilet, I'm a toilet made of solid gold. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're one of the. You're like a. You're a little bucket for Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.